before we get started with this video, I just want to say that yes, you can make your sword. You can make whatever you want. Um, the Kiriko sword, the um, trunk sword, whatever you want to do. But um, I do not show you how to exactly make that. I show you how you can make whatever you want to make, like whatever you build into like a tool. This video, and then the next, I'm going to teach you how to script the sword with a basic script but um in this video I'm just gonna be um having a very basic um sword so it's not even gonna look good it's not gonna look nice I'm just telling you this now so you actually know and know what to expect it's not gonna be no um so I'm just telling you this so no one says oh this is a clickbait uh because it actually teaches you how to make a sword it just doesn't teach you how to make it look like one of your favorite anime's um swords with that being said i hope you enjoy this video and i love you guys have a good thanksgiving let's go what's up youtube today i'm going to be teaching you how to make a sword um haven't been posting in a while because well yeah i'm not even going to explain it but let's go this is just going to be a simple sword, like a very, very basic sword, but you can um, use what I'm, t what I'm telling you now and make the sword you want. So, yeah. Anyways, um, basically all you really need to do is, and this is just a timer. I just want to set the timer so I'm not over seven minutes or whatever. But um, all you really need to do is you can go to Google Images and type sword or whatever. And then just find a sword that you want to make, or even like um, here in Kirito sword. See, and then just look at it, and then make it. You, c yeah, just make it. But basically, what you want to do now, like right now, we're just building it right now. I just said right now so many times. But anyways, what you need to do is just and. Dang, I don't even know. What you need to do is make a big version of your sword. So here we go. All right. So you just want to make a big version of your sword. I'm making a very basic one. I'm not trying to make it any good or whatever. I just want to make it basic. It can be uneven. If, it can be uneven. I don't really care. Because I'm just trying to show that you can make a sword. And I want you to make it better than this. So, do that, do that, uh, that. Do, 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 do. So anyways, like something like that. I like, see that's a very very crappy sword. I guess we can just at least like color it. You know, just some kind of color. That is very crappy, but you it will get the point across. Next, we want to um scale this down, and how you do this is um. Don't know why it's not showing me a starter page, but there's gonna be a plugin in the description below that you have to download in the Robot Studio. So, um, let's see, model resizer. It'll look like this up here if you can see my mouse. So I'm gonna click that, and I'm gonna select all of it by dragging up here, and then holding. I'm gonna be holding my um left mouse button. And just dragging it all down so it selects all of it. And so, basically, what we want to do is resize it. But wait, before I do this, before I forget, what you want to do actually is um, I'm gonna copy and paste this. And so, what you want to do, if you have like multiple um parts right here, like for the this, you're gonna have multiple parts over here. So, and this is just for the damage part. I have made a video on the dam on how to do damage, but I forgot to show the script or give the script, and that was my fault, you know. 
So basically what you want to do is, why is it, like, I don't even know what it's doing. What in the world? Oh, it's probably because, okay. I still had a plugin in um, selected, that's why. So then we're gonna do the access tool. And this, I'm gonna uncheck this so I can actually see frame it down. Put it down here. I just want it to merge. And then from here, while you still have the property on it, you've changed the name to like damage part or something that you'll remember. And then transparency one, which means it will be invisible. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to select it all and I'm going to anchor it also. All right. So, let's go to our plugin, select it all, and then unselect the um this. All right. So basically you want to scroll do this, just drag it down. All right. I think that's going to be too low. You can even have like a little NPC right here. Gotta wait. Here we go. Like a little NPC. See, it's too big. So we want to scroll it. We want to make it even smaller. That looks alright. I guess make it even tinier like that. Yeah, this is. This is definitely going to be a, a bad sword, but it's, it'll be fine. So we're going to unselect the plugin, take it off, and I forgot to tell you, um, whatever you want the person to grip, um, change the name for parts or whatever to handle. Capital H, handle. This is so the tool will know that um, you want the player to hold this part, this black part on the sword right here. So next we want to go to the starter pack, right click, insert object, tool, gonna click it, say sword, and now I'm gonna select the sword and then put it into my tool. Alright. And now let's test. And I'm gonna get rid of that um NPC. So we're playing test. All right, see, and it's all right. Also, I'm gonna have in the description my own world script. So yeah, I have a world script that I made before, and basically all you have to know is that if something's not wielding, then you probably have like. His class name is probably not part, wedge part, or trust part. So you need to add it. So how you do this is you go to the part that is not selecting, and then scroll down to data, class name, and then you see right here it says part. So you go to the wheel script and look, there's already part, so it should wield. But if it's something that's not on here, then all you have to do is go to the end of the um, double quote, do comma, Oh god. Well that's fine. So what you want to do is comma double quote double quote put it in between those two double quotes. Well four double quotes, but whatever. Um the class name like um let's see Union. If if you like Union one of those, then the class name is gonna be Union. So like Union um whatever so so I'm gonna say union and that's really it so you want to keep them anchored so they'll be see what I want the tool to do is like I want to be first anchored and then when the world script is doing it it'll like wield it all together and then put it unanchored so it'll be like this you see so yeah and what if you're not gripping this? What if it's gripping like sideways, like this way instead of this way, like how it is right now? All you have to do is go to just equip it, go to workspace, evil dooms there, or whatever your player is. Click the tool, sword, 
and then you want to mess around with this like grip pause five no that's not it so i revert it back you want to remember the numbers before um you mess with it so that has one so i'm going to mess with five nothing happened zero so i'm going to go five see all right so i'm going to redo that and then i'll say negative five all right you get the point and then if it's not right then i'll just put zero on all i have to do is change what i change i don't have to like see you notice how it's like one zero zero and now put five right here then it's like zero point one nine six and it changes this number and this number just change what you um change just revert it back um what you change so zero and then change back but look ugh. and just mess around with that so and when you're done with it what you want to do is click the tool con um right click copy in test and then click start pack paste and then for the other sword that's not highlighted click that right click delete but I want that because that's the right one. Anyways, that's it. Um, I will be making how you script it, like how you do the damage, how you do all of that in the next video. Now, yeah. Uh, it should come tomorrow, I hope. So you can be looking out for that. Bye.